Hello friends, in today's video we will discuss about model in loop testing using signal builder. Model in loop testing it is also called as ML testing. It is used in model based development to validate the functionality of a model developed. In this video we will develop a simple model for car wiper mechanism and we will perform ML testing using signal builder so here we are using signal builder to write the test cases here we have considered a simple logic to develop the model we are going to control the wiper mechanism so here we are having input as a ignition key car wiper knob and crane sensor so when ignition key is turned on and knob is turned on then wiper mechanism will get turned on if key is turned on and rain sensor it is giving input as a true then also this wiper mechanism will get turned on if key is turned on knob is turned on and rain sensor it is giving input as a true then also this wiper mechanism will get turned on. So let's start the development. First of all, we'll set the configuration parameter. We'll set solver type to fixed, solver to discrete, and here I'm using fixed step size of 0.1. Apply. Okay. So here we are having three inputs, input one, input two and input three. Input one is key, input two is knob and input three is rain sensor. We are having one output we'll call it as wiper output here we are using two logical operators so let's add logical operator which is of and gate again we need to use another logical operator which is of or gate now we'll create the subsystem We will rename this subsystem as wiper mechanism signal builder. Double click on it. So I need three inputs and fourth reference output so i will add four signals two three and four let's rename these signals first one is second one is knob third one is rain and fourth one is wiper output reference now we'll write the test cases press shift 
and right button of your mouse. So for instance, 0 to 1, the ignition key is set to 0. The knob, again, press shift and right click. Again, press shift and right click. So here the key is set to 0, the knob is set to 0, the range sensor, so the output is set to 0. Now for second instance, The ignition key is set to 1. The knob is again set to 1. So as per logic, the output should be 1. Then for second instance, again, ignition key is turned on, knob is set to 0 and drain sensor it is giving input as a true So here, as per logic, the output has to be 1. Again, the ignition key status is set to 1 the knob input is set to 1 the range sensor is also set to 1 So, by logic, the output 
has to be 1 for last instance the ignition key is set to 1 the knob is set to 0 the rain sensor is giving 0 so the output should be 0 now connect the signal now take go to block another go to to carry the wiper output actual so what we used to do in ml we used to compare the actual output provided by model with the reference output which which is written in test case connect scope and run the model here you can observe the zero deviation means test cases are passed successfully and model is performing as per expectations so here what we have done we have just developed a simple model using simple logic we have written the test cases using signal builder we are giving the input provided by signal builder to the model which we have developed which is under test and we are comparing the actual output of a model with the reference output provided by test cases and we can validate the model using deviations let's create one deviation let's say in this scenario when the ignition key is turned on but this is our part now again we will run the test cases and here you can observe the deviation it shows the failure of test cases okay so I will correct my test case here it has to be zero so friends this is how we are performing ml testing guys if you like this video press like and subscribe my channel thank you